This is a companion piece to the Garfield Street Civil War Monument, which is also dedicated to Nicholas Biddle of Pottsville, who I got things, I've read different things and you hear different things, but he was the first casualty of the war. That's what they claim. Fort Sumter had happened a couple days before, so it's iffy whether that's actually the truth or not, but he was the first casualty as in he got hurt, he was wounded uh, in the Civil War. Uh, he and his regiment, he was actually the orderly of Captain James Wren of the Washington Artillery of Pottsville, and uh, they were en route to Washington, D.C. when they were going through Baltimore, and uh, Confederate sympathizers formed a mob and started to attack this group. Apparently, part of the reason they really started to get violent is they started shouting the N-word and uniform, N-word and uniform, specifically at Nicholas Biddle. And they started throwing bricks and rocks, and he was hit in the head with a brick, which they said it, it literally showed bone of his skull uh, when getting hit by that. And I guess he was... Uh, President Lincoln actually visited him. He was being kept in uh, Washington, D.C. in a hospital and was visited there by uh, or President Lincoln. He also raised funds for the wounded Union soldiers at the Great Central Fair in Philadelphia in 1864 by selling his photograph. So he contributed. He only was in for three months that he had signed up for. He was in his 60s, I believe, at this point. He was an escaped slave. I believe it was from Delaware. Uh, I guess his owner, master, I hate to use that term, but we use the terms of the day. He uh, had made a trip to Pottsville, and Nicholas Biddle stayed behind and became a free man. Uh, but uh, and that was in, I believe, the 1830s or something along those lines. But he is buried here at the AME, Bethel AME Cemetery in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Where exactly? I'm not sure, but this is a picture of his gravestone. Uh, unfortunately, I think several times it was vandalized. So, like I say previously in a video, it's a shame that you have idiots like that that do that type of stuff because this man was really was a hero first of all for volunteering at his age uh and then going through that you can't imagine the terror in that moment uh of having those taunts and that word used specifically towards you and it just unfortunately that's how they were back back then you still have people unfortunately there that way today but a uh, great man and uh eventually he came back to pottsville uh lived out the rest of his life. He did a lot of odd jobs and things like that. But Nicholas Biddle, uh, he was the first blood shed in the Civil War is what they claim. Once again, whether that's actual factual, actually factual or not, I'm not really sure. Uh, but he was considered the first casualty of the Civil War. So he didn't fire shots. He was attacked along with his unit. Uh, several other men had been injured pretty pretty profoundly as well uh, but he would have been the worst uh, and was the first one that got hit so that is the story of Nicholas Biddle this is a companion video that I'm putting out alongside the Garfield uh, Civil War monument because I want you to be able to see pictures of the man to be able to see him and, and, and be able to remember him because this man was a hero along with all these other men that are buried in this cemetery thanks everybody and we will see you all about town